this is Bob Cathy from UpTrail71. It is June 15th, 2024, and we're getting ready for another quick little adventure. This time we're back up in our area, Porcupine Mountains. And our first stop is just going to be more of a little quick day hike to Nonsuch Mine area. And this is a sign talking about what this area was like at one time. And I believe I remember hearing that there's about 150 residents way back in somewhere in the 1800s, it's like 1865 range, a lot of copper mining in this area. Alright, we're going to hike over and see some of the rooms and the Nonsuch Falls. Oh, we're coming up to the first small structure, you can see right there a foundation or something. Right down here you can see a piece of metal. Could have been from a stove or something, hard to say. We'll take a quick look at this foundation. It looks like it's intact fairly well. This is actually cool. How it's made into different little sections. I'm not sure exactly what this was. An old bolt still anchored into this part of the foundation. Alright, we'll see what else we have around here. Oh, and this is on the other side of that structure. This must have been some kind of a furnace in here. And that's the other side of this foundation. We're coming up to some more structures or foundations. Get a closer look. There's still quite a bit left of this foundation. It's fairly see? large. I look at Kathy spotted down here. Yeah, I was asking what this is. Right place. in a trail. There's roots growing over it. Looks like some kind of an old gear. And this will be the other side of that large foundation. It's actually standing up quite high yet. It goes way back over there. Then there's some more. I don't know what these are over here. Parts of it. And this will be the non-such waterfalls. As you can tell, it's, the river is down a lot lower right now. So it's just kind of a minimal waterfall. You can see a lot of the deposits of, looks like iron ore right there. So they must have done, did some iron ore mining besides copper. Let's take a look up there, see what it looks like. And now I'm about the top of this little waterfall. Nice area. This is a cool on the other side. As you can see, it looks like tears and it keeps going up. And of course, in like many of my videos I've shown in the past, you can see at the Porcupine Mountains was a volcanic area. You can see all the rocks formed into, this is like lava. Ah, this is a cool area to check out. Doesn't take very long, it's a short hike. Now we're going to probably drive, oh I'm guessing, maybe about seven miles and we'll be going to the trailhead. We'll be taking a, what was that? Pinkerton Trail. We'll be hiking that, we did that one last fall. We're going to hike that to Lake Superior, campsite LC14. So that should be awesome, right on the mouth of the river, Lake Superior. Well, it is a beautiful day out today. It's in the low 70s. The sun is out, but that may not last a whole lot longer. Because they're predicting rain to come in around 7 o'clock this evening. And it sounds like it's going to be off and on rain for the next two days here, once it starts. So, it's not a big deal to us. It's going to be a shorter hike out. We've hiked the rain many times. Oh, 
Oh, this is really cool. Oh, there's a bear in the woods right over here. And I don't know exactly, I have no clue. It looked like a decent sized bear. Not sure where it actually went. Somewhere right in there. Not much water flow again, just like last year. So cool how that tree grew in that rock. Now we're coming up to a seating bench, a nice little view of the Little Carp River. Bark peeled off of that tree, possible a bear could have done that. They like to go for ants. And maybe we'll just stop here for a minute. I know we're only about a quarter mile away from the campsite, but it's a nice breeze. Got a nice little view of the river down here. There it is. You hear it flowing. Sounds nice. There. Of course, we're on a North Country Trail right now. What about this trail? There's a lot of steps. Remember this from last year. We'll be crossing the Little Carp River. There, Kath. To the right, you got your little bathtub area. Oh, that would be a nice little spot to just relax. Okay, we made it to some junction here. Just shows their directions to some of the areas, like Lone Rock, three and a half miles. Here we are, LC14, our campsite for a night. And we do have some campers next to us, just over there. We are firing. And the biting flies are definitely out. You see we're setting up our duplex tent and it is just full of these little biting flies. They've been chewing on us pretty good. Look at this. Wow. Are there any inside there, Cal? Well, of course there are. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna try to make a fire and maybe I'll help a little bit. Some of the smoke. If we can get some breeze off the lake, that'd be nice. Let's take a look at the lake. Yeah, not much of a breeze. That's a nice spot. Just a little buggy right now. And you can see how close our tent is to the lake. So we'll be listening to the waves all night. I'm trying to get a small fire started. Right now I'm gonna cook my dinner. Well, now I'm gonna have my chicken and dumplings meal. It's one of my favorite from Mountain House. And we're still trying to fight off these flies. It's not quite as bad as it was before. These little biting flies are called. They're like little house flies. There's a little breeze off the lake, so that is helping. Well, we used up all of our water. So it's time to filter my Sawyer Squeeze in the Evernew bag. Well, it doesn't look like I'm gonna get a sunset tonight. It's still, a, so far, a beautiful night. No rain yet. And we'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning. It was actually kind of an interesting night with all these bugs. Luckily, we have most of our gear, of course, except for our food bag, which is hanging up outside. But 
just gonna pack everything up right here. See, you got a few bugs up in a corner outside. <laughs> so definitely, I'm gonna call this the buggy trip. An adventure, not quite so hot. <laughs> <laughs> But it's still nice to get out though. It was. We're going to pack up and uh, get on a trail. I think we're just going to skip our breakfast. Since it's only going to take maybe a little over an hour to hike to the trailhead. We had some other stops to make today. Yep. So. Then we'll grab a bite at the gas station maybe. A quick little bite there. Oh, we got most of our gear packed up. We'll take the tent down real quick. Take one last look at the lake before we leave. There's a nice little breeze. It does help keep some of those bugs away. About what you expect early summer is bug season, so. Well, usually once a year we get hit with a buggy trip. Yeah, it looks like we have everything all cleaned up and we'll be back on the trail. Yeah, it rained a lot last night. One thing I'm noticing is a lot more water flow this morning. Of course, this side of the river. <laughs> well, my seven o'clock alarm went off. So as you can see, we're way ahead of schedule. About a mile on, onto this trail. I'm guessing I yeah, got less than two miles to the trailhead. And one reason why we we're, of course, why we were so early on the trail is we didn't cook any breakfast. With those biting flies around the campsite, we just said heck with it. We broke everything down and hit the trail early. And it is definitely wet on this trail right now. Plenty of mud. I'm guessing it rained. Oh, somewhere on maybe three quarters of an inch last night. There we made the Pinkerton Creek. Seems like the water is flowing a little better than yesterday. We're now back at the trailhead. This was another, I don't know if you want to call it fun trip. But it was a good adventure. Saw a bear yesterday and plenty of bugs, of course. And I love the sound of Lake Superior. Sleeping in a tent last night, the rolling waves coming in. That's always my favorite part. But we'll catch you in the next adventure. Thanks for watching. Up Trail 71.